Hey everyone, it's Equine Cutie, and today, if I can get my camera to focus, thank you, today I'm going to be recording my um, greatly requested home decor bathroom um, guest basket video, kind of a combination of all of those things. Um, you'll have to forgive me as I'm a little limited on things for my basket at the moment um, because I am uh, officially two weeks away from moving out of California to my new home in Texas. So a lot of my things are packed up at the moment and um, I, I have limited things out mostly because I did have my friend um, she came to visit me, stayed for the weekend, and so I had a, a little basket done for her, but um, most of my main things, like candles and things like that, I, I don't have out. They are packed up. So, I figured um, something was better than nothing because, like I said, this has been one of the most requested videos from um, all of you. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. So to get started, the first thing you're going to need is some kind of um, basket or uh, tin. It all depends on the style of your bathroom. Um, my bathroom right now has a lot of like country t picnic type things in it. Um, also I apologize if you can hear my dogs wandering around. Um, this is just a little wicker basket that I, I think I picked it up a dollar or something like that a long time ago. I don't remember exactly when I got it. Um, but, uh, yeah, so you'll need something to put your items in. And then I'm going to leave this here for now, just to the side. Um, you can line this with um, burlap or um, a towel, possibly, if you'd like, or you can just leave it like this. So, um, first things first. This is kind of a staple. Actually, I'm going to have to move this. This is kind of a staple in my bathroom. These are cotton swabs, better known as Q-tips. These are the um, Up and Up Target brand. I like to keep these in the bathroom, um, you know, for uh, Mr. Equine Cutie and I, but also I like to provide them for guests because you can use them for things like cleaning off jewelry or taking off nail polish or applying makeup. Um, the, I, I hadn't bought this particular brand, so I did open it up to see the quality of the, the cotton tips. Um, Q-tip has a very thick um, cotton tip. This one's not as thick as the Q-tip ones, but it still works. Uh, the back says, up and up, cotton swabs have 100% pure cotton tips. Cotton is soft and absorbent for all of your skincare needs. Great for makeup application and blending, touching up nail polish, cleaning electronics, and delicate baby care. Used for arts, crafts, and hobbies. Portable and convenient for travel. To clean ears, stroke swab gently around the outer surface of the ear. And... I will call you a liar right now if you tell me that you have never actually used a Q-tip in your ear canal. Even though it clearly says, do not enter ear canal. Use only as directed. Entering the ear canal could cause injury. Keep out of reach of children. I don't know anyone that has not put a Q-tip in their ear. Um, so, yeah. Keep these in the basket. And you can, like I said, they don't have to be the colorful ones like these. Um, they can be whatever you prefer. The next thing I'll keep um, in the basket, uh, especially if I have a female friend coming over or um, a couple of Mr. Equine Cuties friends have long hair, but mostly this is just for the ladies. Um, I'll keep a couple of clips just so that if they're washing their face at the end of the day, they can just clip their hair back. I try to put it um, either on the edge or 
or sometimes I'll just clip it to the side. It just depends what I'm feeling. For now, I'm going to put it on the back side. Another essential, and again, I apologize that these are more geared towards the ladies. Um, like I said, my friend was in town, so everything was geared towards her. Um, I will typically keep um, razors. Um, I keep a pack uh, for gentlemen, and I keep a pack for ladies, and I try to put um, a, a brand new razor in the basket for whoever's coming. Um, I do buy the nice ones with the, with, um, the five blades. Um, sometimes Mr. Equine Cutie has his friends stay over for the weekend, and they like to shave before we go out, so they'll, um, they'll use the men's razors. Um, that I leave in the basket for them. So it's always an option because people tend to forget these and you can't really travel with them anymore. So just set that to the side. I also keep toothpaste. Um, this is Sensodyne for protection and whitening. The reason that I prefer, <coughs> excuse me, Sensodyne, um, some people have a, a sensitive teeth and if you keep a whitening toothpaste in there, whitening toothpaste can actually make teeth more sensitive. Um, so I get the Sensodyne Full Protection Plus Whitening because Sensodyne is proven to help um, keep your teeth from being um, really, se really sensitive to hot and cold. I actually have um, one that I use myself. This is just the spare that I keep in the guest basket. Toothpaste is always a good thing to have around too. Just um, some people will use a little bit to clean their jewelry if it gets dirty and stuff as well. But that one's actually a really good one to keep in your guest bathroom. This is another ladies product, but I guess a guy could use it as if he wanted to. This is dry shampoo. Um, it's the Dove um, Volume and Fullness Dry Shampoo. Dry shampoo. Refresh and revive hair without water. Instantly absorbs oil. In between washes, dry shampoo is convenient and a quick way to refresh and revive your hair. On days when you don't wash your hair, it can be oily, limp, and weighed down. This weightless formula cleans and refreshes to transform your hair from lifeless to bouncy. With just a few quick sprays, your hair will be fresh, clean, and full of healthy looking volume and body even when you skip your regular wash. And then it tells you how to apply it. But um, I'll keep this in the basket just because sometimes, um, you know, I don't particularly use dry shampoo anymore, but I've had several people mention that they really like it, so I sort of made it a staple in the basket. I also provide some sort of a facial cleanser. Um, this is L'Oreal Pure Clay Cleanser, Clay de Mousse. Um, this is the Red Algae brand and it removes everyday impurities, dirt, oil, and pollution. Um, tells you how to use it. Tells you about the cleanser and the effective results. Friend that was staying with me over the weekend really liked this product. Um, I have my own. Um, there's comes in three different types. There's a there's a black charcoal one, a green mattifying one, and then this one that's the exfoliating and refining one. Um, I keep this one in the guest bathroom, and especially in the basket because it's an exfoliator. So.
Um, another thing that people tend to forget is body wash and shampoo and conditioner. So what I do is I get these little um, gravity fed bottles. These are really nice. Um, they're only, they're, I think they're less than a dollar. Uh, but I will put them in, um, like I'll clean them out with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol, let them dry overnight. And then I usually put a very gentle form of um, body wash in there. It usually ends up being dove sensitive skin. Um, you always have to take into consideration that not everybody can handle the same um, body washes. Some people have very delicate skin, so you have to be careful. Uh, this one has, um, I think this is a dove exfoliator in it because um, that's just what I had on hand. But it's still made for sensitive skin, so I went ahead and used it. And then I have another one for a shampoo-conditioner combo. This one um, I actually took with me when I flew back uh, to Texas to close my house. So it's a little, it's almost empty. But these are nice. This is shampoo. Once these are almost empty, you can um, just rinse them out with water till they're clean um, and then swish a little bit of isopropyl alcohol into them and it clean let them air dry and cleans them out real well. Um, the other staple is a towel of some sort. Um, I try to keep um, at least a hand towel at the very least in there. And what I'll typically do is um, do this quarter fold, and then I have enough room of me to put my basket. I'll do a quarter fold, press it, roll flat like that, and then flip it over so that the loose end is here. I will make it meet in the middle just like that Hold the other side over flatten it out like that fold it in half And it makes a little pocket, just like that. And then to be kind of cute, what I'll do is I'll take products and I'll just slip them in so it makes like a little pouch. You can make this bigger if you need to. Right there behind. Got our toothpaste, our body washes, and I'll just move this hair clip to the front. So, so there you have a nice little guest bathroom basket. You could make this pocket um, 
shorter if you want. You can put the little soaps in there. That's perfectly fine as well. Or if you wanted to, you could set these um, cotton swabs in a smaller container so that they don't take up as much room. Um, then they have a face towel, like I said, body, wa um, body face scrub, uh, dry shampoo, razor, toothpaste, things like that. And if you have a bigger towel that you want to use, you can roll up, roll it up and, and set it behind this or set this on top of it. Um, just kind of whatever is your personal preference. So, um, let's go over things one more time. Toothpaste, always an essential because fresh breath is always in. Um, body wash, remember, take care to get some kind of a sensitive skin formula just in case. Um, shampoo, conditioner, um, I tend to get a very, um, generic, like, like a Garnier, um, shampoo conditioner, um, just, you know, make sure everybody's happy with it, um, little hair clip, if necessary, um, dry shampoo for styling, um, you know, men or women that can use it, I've seen, I've seen men use it, <laughs> um, a razor, uh, again, if you want to buy the men's razor, it's perfectly fine if you're having male guests, some of them don't care that it's a woman's razor, <laughs> um, or, or a more feminine razor. I've got the facial scrub in here, the hand towel holding it all together, kind of fancy. And then, of course, some Q-tips, just in case. So, um, this is our guest bathroom basket. I plan on um, making another one of these videos once I'm settled in Texas and I have all of my things back out because I will be um, decorating my guest bathroom that I will have, so um, I'm looking forward to sharing that new video, but I hope this one works for you guys for now.